Searching for articles. Now that you have a database, it's time to find some articles. But searching databases isn't like searching Google. Most people search Google by typing in a question. With databases, you can just use the keywords and phrases that you came up with before and during your background research. Most of our databases give you the option to enter terms in multiple search boxes. These boxes can then be configured to search specific parts of the article, such as author, abstract, or publication. Most search boxes, however, are configured to do a keyword search, because that's the best way to start your search. Most of our databases also have other limits you can apply before and after your search. Important ones to look out for are full text and peer-reviewed or scholarly. Many of our databases don't include the entire text of every article that they have the information for due to restrictions from the publisher. Limiting your search to full text ensures that all the articles that are found are ones you can read right away. We will talk about the difference between scholarly and popular articles in a future lesson, but for now we recommend using this limit as it ensures that the articles meet the requirements of most assignments. This is where librarians really shine, so ask one for help if you get stuck at this step.